Okay, hey everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to cover the mini project HTML web page. I'm here in the Google Classroom, and there are some directions here about, and it says your HTML web page should have the following format a title, which should be inside of H1 tags, that should be an H1 heading. Uh, subtitle 1 and paragraph 1, the subtitles should be H3 tags or H3 headings within a, inside H3 tags. Those are H3 headings. And the paragraphs, of course, should be inside paragraph tags. So you have subtitle paragraph 1, paragraph 1, subtitle 2, paragraph 2, subtitle 3, paragraph 3, and that's it. Um, also, there's a note here that you can include ordered and or unordered lists in addition to or in place of your paragraphs. So I'm going to go ahead and build this up, and I took some time ahead of time to write out my title, my three subheadings, and under each of those I have a paragraph and a list. Uh, again, you don't have to have both, but you have to have one or the, or the other. So I'm going to head over to WebLab. This is the starter code they give us. Uh, it's just the skeleton of the web page. We have the four HTML tags that we have in every one of our HTML web pages or HTML files. And remember that we're going to code all of our content and write all of our, our tags and our content inside of the body. It all needs to be contained within an open body and a closed body tag. And I'm just going to copy in what I have already wrote, and then I'm going to mark it up with the tags. So there it is. You can see it's all mushed together. And now we just have to put in our tags. So the, our title, that was supposed to be an H1. My first subheading is an H3. And then my first paragraph. And now I have an unordered list. So I use the UL tag. And I have to close the UL down here. And I have to put all of my list items within list item tags. And it's nice that it WebLab helps us with our indentation. It automatically indents that from the UL tags. Okay. And there it is. Looks good. Okay, moving on. My second subheading is another H3. The most common error I see among my students is they forget to include the end tags sometimes. It's an easy thing to forget and my unordered list. Okay, looks good. And the content can be whatever you want. I just did mountain ranges of couple of the Colorado Rockies because it's something I know about. Um, but I've seen all kinds of, of different content from people and Things like favorite foods or sports teams, things like that, are totally doable. My third heading, again, that's an H3 uh, or subheading, third paragraph. And finally, the long list of the peaks in the Sawatch range. And these don't have to be unordered lists. You could include ordered lists if you like. Okay, I think that does it. See how it looks here. Nice, looks good. You know, um, also, if you want to go above and beyond, you could add, we also learned um, the horizontal rule. You could put in horizontal rules, and that doesn't have a close tag, but it puts a horizontal line in that looks kind of good. You can separate your, your subheadings that way if you like. Again, that's optional, but they're easy to drop in and add a little bit of more structure to the page. Uh, the last thing I want to mention is that we should check the make sure that our vertical alignment is good. So the doc type and HTML, they're at the highest level. They're all, they should be aligned all the way left vertically and then indented once are the head and the body. 
those should be vertically aligned. And then everything else here, all of the H1, H3 horizontal rule and paragra open paragraph headings uh, or tags, those should all be vertically aligned as well. And then if you have unordered lists or ordered lists, those should also be aligned with the uh, heading and paragraph tags and the list items within those lists should be indented once and vertically aligned. That's all for this one. Hope that helps and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.